Well, step one is we define it inappropriately. Um, it is a conscious, willful act intended to harm where you get pleasure from somebody else's pain. But we often say it's an action that's continuous and repeated over time. But don't you think once called a gross sexual name, once dunked in the toilet, once uh, relationally bullied on the internet matters? You see, we have to say it is often continuous and repeated. But it's an act of meanness where you attack another human being, get pleasure from their pain. And then it is often continuous and repeated. And the cyberbullying is a means of bullying. It's verbal, physical, and relational, as opposed to emotional. I think they all hit us emotionally. But verbal, physical, and relational. So we have to look at the definition first and make the distinction. And I think many schools fail to do this, uh, as many adults do with kids. Make the distinction between conflict and bullying. Conflict's normal, natural, and necessary. Our job is to teach kids to handle those conflicts nonviolently. Being mean and cruel to another human being means I put that other pe person outside my circle of deep caring and make them into an it. Verbal bullying is so offensive because it dehumanizes another human being. I say to kids, as a parent and an educator, you don't have to like every kid in your play yard or in the schoolyard. But you must honor their dignity and self-worth as a human being.